Good afternoon from beautiful Petco Park. The Blue Jays have won eight of their last 11. They've won four straight series. The common denominator has been this incredible run by the starting rotation. Uh, 10 of those 11 starts, the Blue Jays starters have allowed one earned run or less. Well, today the Padres trying to salvage the last game of this three game series. They send Joe Musgrove to the mound as he gets the nod in game three. And George Springer is going to lead it off. First pitch of the day from Musgrove is on the ground to short. Kim racing in on the run and in time for out number one. One pitch, one away. And that'll bring up Vladimir Guerrero Jr. One two is chopped up two hops to way to third on the run and in time. Two down in the first inning on two ground ball outs. Two down here's Bo Bichette. This is a fly ball to right field. Tatis moving back. Sunglasses on, makes the catch. Nice first inning, a seven pitch inning for Musgrove. Padres are coming up. Right now, the Padres in a bit of an offensive valley. We'll see how Chris Bassett handles them. Xander Bogarts leads off, bottom of the first inning, no score. Swing and a miss. Bassett gets him for the first down. So with Bogarts retired, here comes Fernando Tatis Jr. Now Fernando Tatis Jr. with a fly ball to center. It is not deep. And there's a whole lot of sunshine up there for Kevin Kiermeyer and everybody else to deal with. Two down. Here's Jay Cronenworth with two down. And liner into center field. The base hit for Jay Cronenworth. Two out knock. Two down. Cronenworth at first. Here's Manny Machado. Runner goes on the 3-2. And a base hit into right field for Machado. Cronenworth keeps on going and it gets by Springer in right. Here comes Jake all the way around. He will score. Manny's going to third and the Padres lead it one nothing. George Springer with a miscue in right field. So now two in scoring position. Can Bassett get out of this? Play on Got it him. second. Yes they did. Schneider the second baseman coming in to take the throw as Bassett picks off Profar to end the inning. One down here in the second inning. Dalton Varsho stands in. High fly ball down the right field line. Fernando makes his way over to foul ground into a slide. Fernando makes the catch. Nando into foul ground, the sliding catch. That is a long run, a great concentration. Oh, we've seen that before. Davis Schneider getting the start at second base for the Blue Jays. He got a fastball and he hits it to deep left. Did he get enough? He did. Davis Schneider hits it out. His third of the season and that'll tie it at one. Ha Song Kim. Curveball bounced up the middle. Schneider steps over the bag and makes the play. One down. One away and that'll bring up Jackson Merrill. And again the 2-2. Two -two. And it's strike three called. He got him with a cutter about as up and away as a strike can be. Two down. And Luis Camposano batting eighth will come to bat. Again the one two. And he got him. The fastball at the top of the zone. Three up three down for Bassett in the second with a couple of strikeouts. Rene Clement will lead off here in the third inning. And now Clement hits one to deep left. And he has Homer. Hit it right into the lower deck of the Western Metal Supply Company warehouse and Clement rounding the bases as he has given the Blue Jays the lead. Two down here in the third inning for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And two pitches in the air shallow right center and now moving back he started in but over is Jackson Merrill a home run for Ernie Clement it's 2 1 Blue Jays. So one down top of the order Xander Bogarts who struck out against Bassett in the first. Fly ball left field. Back goes Varsho. At the wall. It's gone. Bogey goes boom. And it's tied 2-2. Two -two. Well, Fernando Tatis Jr. the bat. Slow breaking ball to get him as Bassett strikes him out. It's 2-2 two -two headed to the fourth. Bo Bichette leads it off and he's got a base hit into right field. And that'll bring up Justin Turner. Fly ball headed towards left center and Merrill with the glasses on is there and makes the catch for out number one. Bichette does have three stolen bases this year. Only five all of last year. And there he goes. Joe turns and throws and he'll be very out. No runs a base hit nobody left tied at two going to the bottom of the fourth. 
Hassan Kim will come to bat. Here's the one two pitch and is muscled in the air out behind second base. Long run Bichette and over the shoulder the shortstop kind of reaches out makes a nice catch to end a one two three fourth inning for Chris Bassett. Head to the fifth at Petco Park. Padres and Blue Jays are knotted at two. The 0 2 pitch. Fly ball. Jackson Merrill has a chance to make all three putouts in center, and he does. Not only that, but he's going to be due up when we come back to Petco Park. Oops, to his backhand, a bobble. Long throw, going to be late. A base hit for Jackson Merrill. Side ball four didn't miss by much and the Padres now two on one out top of the order coming up the pitch to Bogarts is to left that's going to fall it is a base hit so Bogarts with a home run now a single a two hit day for Xander and now the batter Fernando Tatis Jr. Liner to second caught by Schneider and they're going to turn the double play Wade was on his way to third he was 50 feet away from the bag and boy isn't that huge for Chris Bassett and the Blue Jays George Springer steps into the box 0 for 2 with a ground out and a strikeout and now a base hit just beyond the reach of Kim a one out single for Springer Springer on first Guerrero up first pitch swinging he bounces a ball to short this should be two Kim over to Bogarts one back to first there for a 6 4 3 double play 2 2 game middle of the sixth one out in the sixth for Manny Machado line in the left center field a base hit for Machado Trevor Richards new pitcher ball four is going to load him up so Bassett before he departed walked Profar and to Richards and he walks Kim a chance for Jackson Merrill to get the Padres on top. Got another one out in front of the plate. Richards will flip to Jansen and they get the force at home. Luis Camposano will be next year for the Padres. Ball four. Padres take the lead three to two. Bases loaded walk for Luis Camposano. Patience. Great patience right there by Camposano. Passing along to the next guy, Tyler Wade. On the ground to first base, Guerrero plays a tough hop and he'll take it to the bag himself, and that will end the inning. They got catcher's interference, I think. It's another run. Wade is safe at first base on the catcher's interference. So the Padres will take a 4 2 lead. Here's Justin Turner, who's 0 for 2. Ooh, he got hit. Yeah, that one ran in, hit him near the elbow, and he's aboard. So Turner at first, one away. Dalton Varsho, the batter. Fair ball! And the ball girl made a play on it so it'll be a dead ball and it'll be second and third which probably is what it would have been anyways a double for Varsho well here's Davis Schneider in a big spot and he has already hit a home run here today now the 2 2 bounce to short this will get a run home Turner comes in Varsho stays at second an RBI ground out for Schneider and it's a one run game free pass for Jake Cronenworth here in the bottom of the seventh. So here's Manny with Cronenworth at first one out. Strike three call. Boy, look at the placement of that changeup. Two down in the eighth. George Springer from the top spot in the Jays order. A one for three day. Singled. His last time up. Sends one towards right center field. Fernando up into the air to make the catch. That's not Superman. That's Fernando Tatis Jr. Ball four, another walk. That is eight walks today allowed by Blue Jays pitching. First and third, one out. Eight walks issued by the Blue Jays and a hit batter. That's a season high in walks. And now the bases are loaded for the leadoff man, Xander Bogarts, who's two for four with a home run. Ball four. That'll score the run from third and give the Padres a 5 3 lead. So now it's Tatis. Fly ball left field, sending Snyder back onto the track to make the catch. Tagging at third is Campusano. Padres take a 6 3 lead. So one out, one on for Justin Turner. On the ground, left side. Rosario's going to second for one on to first. That's a double play. That's the ball game. Padres win. 5 4 3 on the game ending double play.